Hello, my name is Elise and I'm a children's librarian at the Acton Memorial Library in Massachusetts. I also work at the Wayland and Needham Libraries. I'm here today to do a family activity craft connected to the summer reading program of summer 2020. The theme is Imagine Your Story and today we are creating artwork connected to the fairy tale, The Princess and the Pea. And let me start by showing you one example of this artwork. Using construction paper or a lightweight cardstock or a piece of cardboard or even a grocery bag, I created the bed that the princess sleeps on that has so many mattresses. The queen is trying to find out if she is a true princess and will be a suitable match for her son. And she places a tiny pea at the bottom. And the story is if she sleeps well, that's proof she's not a princess. But if her night is not easy and she hurts and is achy in the morning, it will show that she really is. It's silly, amusing from another time period, but children love the story and I think it's fun and it lent itself to a very fun kind of artwork. I used a lightweight cardstock in different colors, which made it more fun. I used um, tongue depressors to create a bed with just a base and two on the side. I use these um, tissue squares that you can get at any drugstore and by folding them I created a little pillow for the princess to sleep on. I also had some of these decorated popsicle sticks in my craft supply and I added them to create sort of a folkloric feeling. Now the mattresses were the best part and I used many different kind of materials to do different artwork. And depending on what you have in your house, you and your child can do different things. And so, um, I used the scissors. For paper, I used glue sticks. For some of the other materials I used, I used regular glue. I also created a little princess so that you can have her or your child can play with her sleeping on the bed. And these were very simply made with a clothespin like this. Yarn, which I just had cut already from another project that I glued on her head. And a piece of fabric that I wrapped around her for a dress. And doing that, I created two different princesses and here is a third and so they were just very easy and fun and your child can play with them for a long time and i used a sharpie for their faces so let me begin though by showing you all the different mattresses that i made using different materials let's see okay this one was made from scrapbook paper. I have some and I cut it into thin rectangular pieces that became the different mattresses. And I varied them, repeated a little, and it, depending on your scrapbook paper, it could be very fun. You could also just use regular construction paper. And your child could also, with a marker or crayons, decorate each slice each uh, mattress and uh, do it that way, which would be very charming. Then I had fabric pieces, and so I created a mattress with strips of fabric. These are squares that I had bought at a fabric store that had been made, I think, for quilting, and I used them in many different projects. I wish I had made them a little thinner so that I could have had more mattresses. But again, I added the pillow, the pea, and this, this sort of decorative element. Here's the base of the bed. 
And again, our princess can rest, and we'll see if she has a bad or a good night. Then, I made some using tissue paper, and these are fun. I took strips of paper, and I just scrunched them up, and there they are. And I used real glue for these. And it made a very 3D scrunchy mattress. And you can see all the different colors. It's thick, it has texture. I think this one is a lot of fun. It's sort of a rainbow colored uh, set of mattresses. Now, another one I did involved felt. And here it is. And here's the different pieces of felt that I used. I had scraps and I was able to get enough colors not as pretty as some other things but this is what I had in the house and here I just use the popsicle sticks or the tongue depressors to go up halfway now another fun one I did was with scraps of ribbon and I like this one a lot I um, had different widths of ribbon, which I think was fun. I also had different patterns and solid colors. And I just made them various widths to give it some variety. And um, I really enjoyed doing this one. It was fun to combine all these different patterns and colors. And the last one I did was with regular popsicle sticks. And what I did here was I just used markers to color them and created a real rainbow effect. And that was very easy. And again, you could do one just as easy as this with construction paper. And so markers and popsicle sticks are another option. Now, I decided because I had more popsicle sticks and tongue depressors, to create a ladder. And I also had these very tiny little popsicle sticks. See, I had seven of them, just enough to make a ladder that reaches, not completely, but almost up to the top of the mattress. So our princess can climb up and get in bed for the test to see if she will be deemed princess enough to marry the prince. And so, um, those are the things I made. And I got inspiration for this project from one I had done previously. It was one of the first ones I did for the summer reading program. I decided to make magic carpets out of cardboard. I took a rectangular piece of cardboard I punched holes and I added ribbon for fringe. And when I did this one, I had a lot of fun and made a bunch of carpets. This one was made with from my ribbon collection. This one was made with painting. And we could also paint one too, if your child really loves to paint. This was the fabric one, which looks very different from my fabric bed. But that's why each material can be very rich and give you different results. I did a beautiful um, felt one, which again looks different and from the bed I made. I did the tissue one, which I really loved, and I really loved the bed one. And I did a cut paper one, which I didn't think lent itself as well to the mattresses, but it definitely could. And so I got all these ideas eight weeks ago and then decided to recycle them, which is what we do all the time when we're making crafts. We recycle techniques like sponge painting or dots, painting dots with a Q-tip. Um, we color with markers. We cut up tissue paper. We cut up fabric. And we use cut paper. I hope I've given you a lot of examples for you to make this craft. It really is easy. 
It might be fun to read to your child um, a book of the princess and the pea and then make the craft. They will remember the story very well because you will have made it more real for them. This Friday, August uh, 14th, I will be doing a Zoom story time at the Acton Memorial Library at 10 a.m. And I'm going to be reading Rachel Isadora's version of The Princess and the Pea, which takes place in Africa. I hope you can join us. You'll have to go to the Acton Memorial Library website, go to their events calendar, and register for this program, regardless of where you live and you can attend the Zoom story time. You'll get a link. And this story time is 45 minutes long. I will also be reading The Three Little Pigs and some other stories and we'll be singing songs and doing some action rhymes too. I look forward to seeing you there if you can make it and hope you do this craft. Thank you, bye.